In this video, I am going to show you how you can encrypt and decrypt your files and folders on Windows. To protect our files and folders, the best way is to encrypt them, so no one else can access them, even if we leave our computer with them. I will be guiding you through how you can be able to encrypt and decrypt your files and folders on Windows. To get started, open your web browser and navigate to this web address. The link to this website will also be in the description. On the web page, scroll down and download the Windows version of this software. After clicking on the download button, the application should start downloading. Just wait for the download to complete. After the download is complete, close your web browser. Now, open File Explorer and navigate to your Downloads folder. In your Downloads folder, you will see a zip file named Leo Moon. Right-click on the zip file and click on Extract. After extracting the zip file, double-click on the extracted folder. Inside the extracted folder, you will see an executable file. Double-click on the executable file to start the installation. To continue with the installation, click on Yes. This will launch the setup wizard for quick encrypt. To begin the installation, click on Next. Accept the license agreements and click on Next. Click on Next again. Now, click on Install in order to install the application on your computer. After the installation is complete, go ahead and start the application. This is the application we will be using to encrypt and decrypt our files. Quick Encrypt uses an AES encryption algorithm to encrypt our files. This algorithm is one of the strongest encryption algorithms available. The files encrypted using Quick Encrypt are compatible with Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. This application also comes with a password generator, which generates random passwords based on your input choice. Don't worry, we will be taking a look at that too. But first, let's learn how to encrypt and decrypt our files. To encrypt our files, go to the Quick Encrypt application and make sure you are on the Encrypt tab. Click on the Select button to select the file you will like to encrypt. Navigate to the location of your file. Click on the file you want to encrypt, and click on Open. This will load the file into Quick Encrypt. In the Password field, enter the password you will like to use to encrypt your file. Confirm the password by typing the same password inside the Confirm Password field. Over here, you can choose to delete the original file after the encryption is complete. Don't worry, once the encryption is done, nothing will be dependent on the source file. After you are satisfied with your choice, click on Encrypt, and your file will be encrypted and saved to the same location where your original file was located. After your file has been encrypted, you will see file encrypted successfully. Now, open File Explorer and navigate to the same location where your original file was located. Over here, you will see a new file with the same file name as your old file, but ending with .aes. This file has been encrypted and no one can access it without the password you used to encrypt the file. To open the encrypted file, double-click on it and this will open the Quick Encrypt window. 
Now, enter the password you use to encrypt the file, and click on Decrypt. This will open the encrypted file. And you can now be able to access it. To decrypt a file, go back to the Quick Encrypt window, and click on the Decrypt tab. Under the Decrypt section, click on the Select button, and navigate to where your encrypted file is located. Select the encrypted file, ending with the .aes extension, and click on Open. In the password field, enter the password you use to encrypt the file. Similarly, you can check the delete source checkbox, and this will delete the encrypted file after the decryption is complete. Now, click on the decrypt button to decrypt your files. To view your decrypted file, navigate to the location where your encrypted file was located, and you should see your decrypted file. As I said earlier, you can also generate secure passwords, using this same application. To do this, go back to the Quick Encrypt application, and click on the Pass Gen tab. On this tab, you can generate secure passwords, based on your predefined parameters. First off, enter the length you want your password to be. Next, uncheck the Use PPT set, and set your custom predefined options. Select whether your generated password should include lower case, upper case, numbers, or special characters. Check the checkboxes based on your preference. After you are done, click on Generate, and your password will be generated in the box provided. With this, you can encrypt and decrypt as many files as you want. In just a few steps, you should now be able to encrypt and decrypt your files very easily on Windows. Thanks for watching. Make sure to leave us a like, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and click on the bell icon so you can get notified as soon as we upload a new video. Also, don't forget to share this video. Thank you.